There we go, man. This big old engine on this little mountain bike. 26 inch. See how we mounted that engine on there, huh? What do you think? Bolted it right up to the top there. Threaded right into the block, man. Tighter than Dick's hat band. And I put the womp down on every one of them. So it's on there, y'all. It looks true, red, white, and blue. Just like the two horse Briggs and Stratton I put on there. And the Huffy USA made bicycle that Walmart used to sell. Too bad they don't sell them no more, huh? You got that shit right, the Chinese junk. I don't even want nothing Chinese, man. I try to avoid it when possible. It's kind of crude, but it's on there, man. China welder ain't too hot, you know. You can blame yourself if you want to, but the truth is, it's just a piece of Chinese junk. A bunch of junk, and you don't want the shit because it's dangerous. You have valve stems blowing out on these sort of explorers and killing people, and little things like that, y'all, that you kids don't think about are so important. Made in China and costing Americans lives. People are losing their lives because of this Chinese junk, y'all. Just like this bike right here, it has a lot of torque, so. I definitely don't want this motor to come off here while it's running. It could kill you. Poor lady I saw on the news got caught in one of those motorized gates for a gated in community. The damn thing tore her apart, man. It killed her. So you gotta be careful. The only way to be careful is to stay away from Chinese junk. And that's what produced that weld right there, Chinese junk. I'm not happy with it. It's not real strong either. That's full of wire that you get at Harbor Freight is weak shit, man. Y'all better listen to this old man right here.